The Florida Current, an online news service smartly covering politics and policy. Subscribe for free daily alerts at thefloridacurrent.com. A popular amendment on this November's ballot seems like a no-brainer for many Floridians. Set in stone that about 1% of state spending goes towards environmental protection effort. But not everyone agrees. Florida Tax Watch released their voting guide this week. Their conclusion? It doesn't belong in the Constitution. It's rubbed Amendment 1 and environmental protection advocate Will Abiger the wrong way. They don't think that protecting our state's drinking water is important enough to be in the state constitution. They don't think that restoring the Everglades is important enough to be in the state constitution. These are things that Florida voters care about. Florida Tax Watch isn't recommending people vote yes or no on the amendment, but they do caution against tying up future money. It's going to set aside about $500 million a year in the short term roughly annually, that cannot be spent to pay down our constitutional obligations on the pension fund, $500 million that cannot be spent on teachers, $500 million that cannot be spent on, on student learning. Even former Governor Bob Martinez, whose administration championed Florida's land conservation programs, says it's a policy issue, not constitutional. One is organic. In my view, only the third one belongs on the ballot. The other two are public policy. Tax Watch says that had the amendment been in place already, environmental programs would have received less money than they got from the legislature in five of the last 10 years. Reporting in Tallahassee, I'm Matt Gelka.